For almost 50 years, Valtz has been providing top quality chlorophyll fluorometers to measure photosynthetic efficiency. These devices are called PAM fluorometers because they apply the principle of pulse amplitude modulation. This video highlights the Mini PAM 2 device. This fluorometer is especially designed for field operation but works equally well for studies in controlled laboratory settings. All components are encased in the rugged housing of the Mini PAM 2. A sunlight readable touchscreen serves as both an input and output device. Easy to use navigation keys provide quick access to the various functions of the device. You have the option of displaying only the key parameters, the fluorescence level, the photosynthetically active radiation, abbreviated PAR, the efficiency of photosystem 2 and the electron transport rate. More data, plus the fluorescence kinetics of the last saturation pulse, can be found on another screen. The parameters of photochemical and non-photochemical energy quenching are only a tap away. You can also view the time course of fluorescence. A high transmission fiber optic cable connects the MiniPAM2 to the sample. Color coded sockets and plugs reduce the risk of mixing up connections. The MiniPAM2 can be powered by widely available Type AA rechargeable batteries. The carrying strap greatly enhances the portability and keeps the hands free for manipulations. The Mini PAM2 is available with a blue or red measuring light. The maximum quantum yield of Photosystem 2, the FV over FM parameter, responds with sensitivity to many stress factors. Measuring the FV over FM requires dark acclimation. For this purpose, Valtz has developed a dark leaf clip. With the shutter closed, the fiber optics is inserted into the cylindrical sleeve of the clip. The shutter is then opened in order to measure the FV over FM value. A good example of the use of the clip is from a study investigating the effect of soil composition on the FV over FM in ornamental plants. To prepare the measurements, Sabrina positions one dark leaf clip on each plant. Preparing a number of plants in advance greatly increases the sample throughput within the measuring stage. 20 minutes after placing the clips, Sabrina can now probe the entire series of leaves in one run. The 2035B field clip is designed to measure the performance of Photosystem 2 when the leaf is exposed to light. The field clip is equipped with a precise PAR sensor. The photosynthetic electron transport rate can then be derived from both the PAR and Photosystem 2 performance. At the same time, the temperature of the leaf is measured using a thermocouple. The field clip also features a humidity sensor to monitor air moisture. Air moisture affects leaf photosynthesis by modulating stomatal opening. Sabrina demonstrates the use of the field clip in another project where she investigates photosynthesis under ambient light. A single measurement simply consists of putting the field clip in place, then triggering the saturation pulse analysis by pressing the red button. The miniature spectrometer measures light spectra. The absence of moving parts makes the spectrometer ideal for outdoor studies. The spectrum includes the visible range which plants use for photosynthesis. It also covers the far red range, which is important for developmental processes, controlled by the phytochrome for the receptors. The miniature spectrometer precisely examines gradients of intensity 
and spectral composition of light. Both are key factors for plant growth. The miniature spectrometer can be converted to measure spectra of reflectance or fluorescence emission. For reflectance measurements, a white light source is employed. Reflectance spectra resemble the inverse absorption spectrum of the leaf. The long wavelength absorption of chlorophyll appears as minimum and the green absorption gap of leaves appears as maximum. A green or a blue light source is used for fluorescence emission spectra. The peaks in fluorescence emission spectra can be assigned to photosystem 1 and photosystem 2. A magnetic sample holder positions the sample. An example of an application of the reflectance spectra is a study of abundance of chlorophylls and carotenoids in senescing leaves. Without the magnetic sample holder, reflectance spectra of fruits can be recorded to monitor the progress of maturation. The data acquired in the field is easily transferred to a Windows computer running the software WindControl 3. The MiniPAM 2 fluorometer can also be upgraded depending on your experimental needs. A high-intensity lamp emitting red, green, blue and white light allows for a flexible design of the spectral properties of light. To record rapid light curves, a conversion kit for the 2035 B-field clip is available to screen off external light. The Arabidopsis leaf clip has been designed specifically for measuring small leaves. The surface holder is a positioning device for the fiber optics. It is most often used in studies of mosses, lichens and photosynthetic crusts. The KS2500 Huet configures the MiniPAM2 for investigating the suspensions of cells and isolated chloroplasts. The Huet has a central reaction chamber. An adapter fits the fiber optics at the top of the reaction chamber. The side port is tailored for adding chemicals with a microliter syringe. Constant temperature of the suspensions is achieved by a flow-through water bath. A magnetic stirrer allows for the continuous mixing of the suspension. The KS2500 Qet enables the simultaneous analysis of photosynthesis by fluorescence and oxygen measurements. The needle type oxygen sensor is inserted into the side port of the cuvette. The oxygen signal is acquired by the oxygen meter, which is linked to the MiniPAM2 by a special adapter. This short introduction to the MiniPAM2 only demonstrates the key features of this device. Additional information on the MiniPAM2 is available on our website at valtz.com. The Valt staff is looking forward to providing additional information and to answering all of your questions. Simply contact us by email or by phone.